this remarkable project to rebuild, reconstruct from the archive material Trotsky's last book, his biography of Stalin, has been more than 10 years in the making. I went to the Trotsky archives at Harvard University in 2003 and uh, having lo looked at the archive generally, a massive uh, work, uh, my attention was drawn to the boxes on the archive about this book of Stalin. When I went into a bit more detail, I could see that there were nine very large boxes full of files and material that went into the construction of this particular book. Um, the book itself had been issued after Trotsky's death. It hadn't been completed, but it was issued in, in, in 1946. The last parts of the work had been edited by Charles Malamuth, who was the original translator that Trotsky had employed. Clearly, he, he, he wasn't in a political state in order to um, uh, carry out this particular task. He wasn't qualified enough to carry out this particular task. And therefore introduced into this later edited version a lot of material that he had uh, decided to supplement uh, Trotsky's work. And these supplements, these additions, clearly went against the general uh, thrust of Trotsky's political thought. Um, at, the, at that particular time, uh, Natalia Trotsky, Trotsky's uh, widow, together with his attorney, Albert uh, Goldman, complained uh, bitterly that they did not want to see this book published in this form, that they wanted to take out the material that had been put in by Malamuth, and that should be replaced by Trotsky's own writings in, 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 in relation to if it needed any bridging material. Uh, the uh, court action that Natalia took against uh, the publishers failed and the book was produced in 1946 in this, uh, 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 this particular form, this balderized form. Um, it has always been a, um, a very sad uh, uh, fact that this was uh, Trotsky's last writing and yet it did come out in a very unsatisfactory way. The first seven chapters were gone over by Trotsky. The first six had been gone over in English and the seventh in Russian. And the other several chapters, later chapters, were made up from the material that he left behind. And um, when I visited the archives, I could see that the original material uh, which was there, a lot of it hadn't been published. And Malamuth had given the excuse that uh, a lot of it was repetition and it wasn't, wasn't uh, necessary for, his, for the book's publication. Uh, also, I found that uh, Malamuth had uh, put in brackets uh, unnecessarily, that he had translated material and later the material appeared with br brackets uh, which seemed to indicate that he had actually uh, uh, had made these particular formulations. Uh, the main thing also, he said that the transcripts had been damaged in the assassination attack in August 1940 and that uh, uh, some of the material was, was completely uh, was in complete, a complete state of disrepair. However, I checked through all the archives, every single page in those uh, nine uh, boxes, and there wasn't any damage whatsoever. There was also um, files of translated material from Trotsky, which were deliberately left out of the book. Um, when I came back to England, we thought it would be a good uh, um, project, if it was possible, to put these, this material back into the book and take out the material that Malamuth had put in. Um, we began this by, uh, I went back uh, two or three times and eventually we got a microfilm of all the material that had not been placed in the book and they were then put into, uh, into a photocopyable form. This is all the material here, which you can see a vast amount of uh, uh, words have been left out. In fact, you're talking about an extra ten, sorry, an extra hundred thousand words being brought into this new uh, book that we are publishing. Malamuth's text, which comes to about ten thousand words, were taken out, 
And uh, during the work we were employed on this book, on the, on the effort we were putting in to bring this material together, we did look at other um, editions in different languages. And we were particularly uh, drawn to the Russian edition in, in, of 1985 uh, by Yuri Felinsky. Um, uh, and um, we discovered, having checked the English with the Russian, that even the Russian uh, book had new material that had not been put into the Malamuth edition. So we thought that we would translate this new material and it was up to Alan Woods to translate it and then to embark on the editing of this new work. So we um, basically took all the material, this material that we got from Harvard and uh, like a great jigsaw puzzle put it into the, into the later chapters of the book as best we could, added the new, uh, newly translated Russian material, and then had to re-edit the book in, order, on a, in a chronological way, in order that it would um, come out in the best possible fashion. We um, did closely work with Esteban Volkov, Trotsky's grandson, who was very keen that this book would be produced. In fact, he tried to get this, the book uh, stopped not published in the mid-1960s by legal action. He failed as well because of the Malamuth um, uh, uh, material that was contained in it. And he was very insistent that this would be a, a remarkable thing to do for the memory of Trotsky's political legacy if we could publish a new version, the most up-to-date version with the maximum material uh, in it, the most complete version of uh, uh, Stalin, uh, that that would really... Um, right the wrongs that had done to uh, Trotsky and his heritage by the old edition produced by Malamuth. And that's why we have uh, put the work in to do this. And uh, the, the, the book now is 30% uh, larger than the original 1946 edition. And uh, we think it's a, um, a brilliant um, edition now to the classic writings in, a, in the best possible way of Leon Trotsky. And we hope that um, this work will be appreciated and in order to make it uh, more successful, uh, build upon the success, we are, we're hoping that we can get extra funds to ensure that uh, this is expanded and this is um, given the widest possible publicity that we can. So with your help, we hope we can. this becomes a real milestone in publishing this, this uh, unique uh, uh, venture in the next uh, few months. Thank you.